First Updates Now videos are brought to you by Stryker. Discover why so many FIRST alumni and mentors are putting Stryker first when it comes to their careers, internships, and co-ops. Visit careers.stryker.com forward slash first to learn more. Hi, I'm Ben. I'm here with First Capital RA3D. I'm a mentor for FRC 225 and FRC 2481. Hi, I'm Eric. I am a mentor for FRC 1923, and I'm here with First Capital RI3D. Awesome. So we wanted to talk a little bit about what robot we've decided to go with as a team. The teams are already split up into their various sub-teams and working on prototyping. So um, what to note here, we've got um, an eight-wheel drive. So the eight-wheel drive has six-inch wheels to make it so we can get over the berm and eight wheels because it's going to be easier for us to make sure that the robot is balanced when it's shooting. Even if someone's going to be playing defense on us during that time, at least that makes sure that we have a steady shot when we're not being defended. So with that, um, we, one of the things when designing a robot, we looked at the tournament structure. So the second order sort is autonomous, which uh, auto is also the second, uh, the second order sort for tiebreaker um, behind, uh, behind fouls and the second order sort when you actually get to um, working with the, uh, the Einstein, Ron Einstein, Robin. Einstein Ron Robin. Thank you, Eric. Of course. Yes. All right. So uh, to do that, we've uh, split up into sub, some sub teams down here. You want to talk that through, Eric? Sure. We are basically tackling this as three major subsystems, and they all will have minor subsystems associated. Uh, the shooting subsystem, we are going to have an intaking subsystem. We're going to have to then index the balls, and we're going to have a shooting subsystem. So the intake, we're looking at uh, trying to get something pretty wide so that we can try to get multiple balls at once. Indexing is going to be a difficult challenge for all teams because you are allowed to hold five balls at once. We haven't quite decided how we want to index the balls, but the gist of this subsystem is lining them up in some sort of order and getting them ready for the shooter. Then the shooter, uh, right now we're starting off with a hooded flywheel shooter, um, just like this on the board. And um, we debated a couple of different types. We're starting with this one. We're definitely probably going to try uh, a dual wheel shooter, a wheels on each side if we don't like how the flywheel is, is working. Uh, we talked about a catapult type system or a puncher type system, but we feel that because you're shooting five balls in a row, you're going to have to reload and that's going to take too much time and you're just going to want to shoot five quickly. The, do you want to talk about the climber? No, go ahead. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, so the climb subsystem we have uh, broken down into two things. First of all, we need to be able to physically climb with our robot. We need to be able to lift the robot into the air off the ground. And the second, we want to try to do some sort of center of gravity adjustment so that we could be already hung and balance either moving the robot all the way along the, the bar or moving internal center of gravity in the robot to balance the bar when two robots or three robots are already hung. Um, and then we are going to do some sort of wheel to try to spin. Um, it's going to have to have an encoder and probably a color sensor to spin the color wheel. All right, awesome. Thanks, Eric. So again, we're here from First Capital RA3D and super excited to tell you all about our build this weekend. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and tier two plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent. Thanks to Rev Robotics and all of our First Capital RA3D sponsors.